All right, I see so many of my fellow stackers, personally and on YouTube, struggle so much with silver value right now, as if we've never been here before. Okay, so I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna talk to my local coin store owner, and the information that he shares with us today may alleviate some of that frustration. So if you follow my channel at all, you know I try to not focus on the numbers so much. Spot price, where the market says the value of silver is. If you guys know, I, I try to stay as far away from that stuff as I possibly can. Now, I'm not saying any of that stuff is bad. It's just that I choose to focus my attention elsewhere. And that is getting as much physical silver in my stack as possible at the best price. In order to do that, I have to talk to people who sell physical silver. So the main person that I talked to is my local coin store owner. His name is Phil. He owns Franklin Street Coin. So I'm going to go ahead and talk to him. And I think some of the things that we talk about today are going to alleviate some of the frustration that many of the new stackers and maybe some of the veteran stackers are feeling right now when it comes to physical silver. All right, Phil, I, I see this, the, the pickets here are a little slim. Yeah, the stack uh, is getting smaller. The stack is getting smaller, but, it, you know, I guess we've, we've been here before. Yeah. Uh, oh, we've yeah. been here before, so we know that, uh, you know, this is just temporary. But uh, there's not a silver shortage. The scarcity comes from just people buying it. It's a lot more popular. Mm -hmm. And so today is definitely an example of that because uh, your uh, wares are a little thin, as far as when, especially when it comes to silver. So what do you think is... Uh, is the, is the uh, reason for that? Well, for us, it's um, it's a matter of supply and demand. But obviously, when the supply uh, reaches a critical point in terms of meeting the demand, we end up with very scarce amounts of silver. And again, what you say is true. It's not um, a scarcity of silver per se. It's more of a scarcity of what we have available for the buyers at, at any point in time. And this is. One of the scarcest we've been, our 90% bags are just about empty, and this is the end of the, the silver that we've got right now. Well, after today, you won't have this either, because I'm going to take <laughs> this with me. The premiums have come down slightly, like I say, but not a whole lot. I still yes. think we're seeing a, you know, a 4 to $5 spread on generic silver and at least a $10 spread on the Eagles from where the spot price sits, mm -hmm. um, because it's just, again, when you get to a supply and demand issue, um, people are willing to pay market price for things that they want, and that's where the market sits right now on those. Now, keep in mind, and, and you know, I can only speak for ourselves, but we pay considerably above spot to get the silver in to begin with, so our margins have not increased uh, past what we used to do when we didn't have these high premiums. We're just paying a higher premium to get the silver in. So. Coming back into the door, you get your premium back. And if, if that's ever a question that somebody asks, um, you know, through the um, through the viewership that you might have to answer. And typically, at least in here, we we try to have the person recover the premium when right. they come back in if they do decide to resell it to us. Right. And I can't speak for ever, you know, every dealer, right, every one, but at the same time, um, if somebody comes in and asks me what the price of silver is, and I quote them a price, and it. They say, well, you're $5 over spot. I say, well, keep in mind we're paying $4 over spot to get it in the door, okay? Right. So that alleviates any any idea that we're somehow buying at a different level than we're selling at as far as premiums go. Um, again, that's just here, and I, don't, I, I can't speak for everyone either. So um, our idea is the fact that if the premiums are gonna exist on the selling end, they certainly have to exist on the buying end. And to think too that you know you're, you're buying silver at a, a huge premium so to take an eagle for example and let's just use an example ten dollars over spot for an eagle um, you go anywhere you're gonna probably pay close to ten dollars over spot for an, a silver eagle yes. okay. now don't think that you should turn around the next week and if you decide you want to sell that eagle back that you're gonna get ten dollars less than what you just paid for you shouldn't do that I mean what I'm saying is that we're 
the premium should be no more than you, know, you, you come back and get at least an eight or eight dollar and fifty cent premium on top of spot for the eagle when you sell it back. Right. And then when you go to buy it, there's going to be you know a little bit higher premium, but you're not going to lose that entire premium over spot when you come to sell it back. And that goes with generic too. Absolutely. So you're not the, the thing with buying off the street is you know we appreciate people bringing in their silver and selling it to us because that's how we get the majority of our silver and i think a lot of the shortage is the fact that they're looking a lot of the silver sellers might be looking at spot and saying oh my gosh my silver is only worth mm. a certain amount not knowing that hey you know it's actually 20 percent higher than what the silver spot price is sitting at right now because that's what we're willing to pay for it because the demand for it is so high and we are able to charge a premium that is consistent with the market value of, of physical silver right now so that's why we pay more to get it in so yes and, and i agree with that too it's all about the way you look at it because for mm -hmm. me i don't i don't um value the silver bullion that i have in my possession or my stack in monetary value in other words for example i don't say i have five thousand dollars worth of silver mm -hmm. i say what those Ounce. ounces yeah. are you know mm -hmm. i have yeah. you know i have 50 ounces or you know 75 ounces of silver that's how yeah. i judge that because the, the 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 price is going absolutely going to change so from any time period whatever you value your silver if you do it in dollars if you're not selling at that exact moment right. then the price is going to be different yeah. anyway the ounces won't change unless you subtract absolutely. or add to it but the dollars will and the dollars will also change depending on who you sell it to and when you sell it during the day so there's a lot of factors in terms of valuing your silver at any point in time the only time to really do that would be when you're looking to sell it at that point in time and say what what should i expect to get for this and i think the expectation is i think people are typically surprised at what we're paying for silver to get it in the door right now and that's that's where it's usually you know advantageous to you may make a few calls when you're looking to sell silver and find out you know typically what your silver's worth in the market at that point in time. I do periodically call around just to gauge where the premiums are and consistently you have the best prices. That's just the way it is. I won't name any other. I mean, there's a bunch of coin stores in Cincinnati, but you consistently have the best sale price and buyback price. And, and you know, if that sounds like a commercial for your store, then so be it, but that's right, yeah. the truth. Well, um, and I might, might explain or yeah, right, it's supply too, but you know that's fine. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, somebody will, you know, will come in at some point today or you know early tomorrow or whatever and bring, you know, bring a few hundred ounces in to sell, and uh, yeah. you know we'll give them a fair price for their silver, and then hopefully more will come in, and we'll offer to the, you know, the potential buyers that come in. They'll, you know, they'll get a good value on it. They'll they'll be happy, and then the sellers will be happy, and you try to keep, you know, basically try to keep the. The wheels turning in terms of this type of bullion you know yeah and that's important and so um well you have some silver here for me and like i said i'm gonna <laughs> i'll be taking this with me today work with your dealer your local dealer and say you know i know spot prices here and i know the you know the premiums are higher you're selling it for much higher uh what are your what are you buying it back at and that might make you feel a little bit better about where spot actually sits versus what you're holding and you know what you're buying you know some people are putting off buying because of the premium and it's like well uh, they don't understand maybe at the time that they're going to get that premium right back when they sell it and just for a quick example of what you said eagles right now the premiums are way up on them yeah, very high. and so that that's a um that's a two-edged sword because if you bought eagles like i bought a, a ton of eagles in the past so all the eagles that i bought mm -hmm. are profit Every single one of them yeah, we'll that buy I bought. Them all back from right. if you want every, <laughs> every single eagle I own yeah. is is in profit. You know, I, I won't lose anything on eagles, and that's just an example of where you are. What silver can do for you, mm -hmm. um, and that's true for anybody. Anybody who's bought eagles in the past, those eagles are. You know, yeah, and every that's place in, is buying and that's them. That's in a direct, price. you know relationship to the spot price going down they're still higher than what mm -hmm. even though the spot price might be lower than what you pay for the eagle because the premiums on the physical eagles right now the silver eagles is so high that you're probably in the positive range on all your eagles right now right. Um, and that's a you know that's a plus again without worrying about where spot price sits um, because they always used to hinge off a of spot you know they used to sell for 
you know, a dollar amount over spot, and mm -hmm. they, people were buying for you know a few dollars over spot, and some for a dollar more than that or whatever. But now it's a it's it's a much larger spread. But you're right; it does make uh, the value of your collection that much higher. But you have to know that you have to understand right. the fact that the premiums are being met on the other end, on the buying end, as well as the selling end. So yeah. it doesn't work just one way. Yeah. Well. Um Thank you for your time today, Phil. Yeah, I think sure. we'll end it right there. Um, you know, silver is still available. I mean, it's 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 out there, but it's just demand is high, and so mm -hmm. it doesn't stick around long. And um, you guys know that if you watch any of my videos where we talk to Phil down here at Franklin Street Coin. Um, if you see it on his shelves, you need to get it <laughs> because it's very <laughs> it's rare that I see something here <laughs> next time I come. <laughs> it's usually gone. All right, Phil, I appreciate that. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Uh -huh. All right, so there you have it. If you can find physical silver, buy it. It's a positive thing, I believe. But of course, do your own research. Just share with you guys that I think is a positive thing. And I'll give you information to those ends. Uh, but really, you need to do your own research and find out if it's right for you. I hope you got something from this that you can use. And maybe you saw some stuff in this video or heard some stuff in this video that you did not know. Anyway, appreciate you guys stopping by. Keep stacking. <laughs>